RNC Chairman Rens Priebus, thanks so much for joining us on Happy Newsmax TV today. Happy to be here. Well, President Obama today announced immunity will be given to young illegal immigrants who came here as young children. Some say this is a partial dream act. Is this nothing more than a calculated move on Obama's part to drum up Hispanic I mean, votes? Of course. Yeah. I mean, this president was so grossly negligent. Now, I'm not, we, we didn't, uh, I'm not going to try to portray the fact that the Republicans were championing the DREAM Act. We weren't. But the fact of the matter is he made promises to Hispanic voters in 2007 and 2008 that he was going to pass this DREAM Act. Well, he had all the votes in the Senate. He had 60 votes in the Senate. He had a majority in the House. And so, you know, I don't think you can believe him. And he didn't deliver on any of it. So if anything, if you're a Hispanic uh, voter out there, I would look at Barack Obama with great skepticism because he promised to carpet the world and he delivered nothing, whether it be for Hispanics or whether it be, uh, whether it be jobs, the economy, the debt. Uh, he hasn't, he hasn't followed through on anything. Now, yesterday, the president, in a speech, stated that the election will determine the course the economy takes and suggested that he needs more time to fix it. You released a statement stating that President Obama wants a mulligan. What is your message? Well, I mean, the, the message is that you can't believe anything he says. I mean, he does the same speeches over and over. If you take the speech that he gave yesterday, this was this major speech, major policy speech or something that they announced. It was the same speech he's given a hundred times. He hasn't delivered on his promises. He's in love with the sound of his own voice. He's in love with the man in the mirror. Unfortunately, he isn't in love with following through on promises, and he hasn't been in love with providing good, uh, in, in a good environment for jobs, and he hasn't done anything about the debt or the deficit. That's the problem. The problem is the facts don't line up with what he's trying to claim he's accomplished to the American people. Now, David Axelrod this week said that if President Obama is reelected, that the administration will use every tool to change the First Amendment protections of political speech that they don't like. What does this tell us about the mindset of the administration and what is the impact of something like this on America? I don't know what the impact is because just because they say this is what they're going to do or not do, I mean, I don't believe what they say. I mean, why would anyone actually believe that the president would follow through on anything since he has not followed through on the promises he's already made. But let's just take the question as it is, right? Um, you know, the First Amendment gives people and organizations the right and the freedom of speech through the Constitution to involve themselves in the political process. It's been upheld by the Supreme Court. I support that. Uh, but again, because it, David Axelrod makes a comment, he's just placating to his base. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how I take it. All right. Well, Mitt Romney's sixth state bus tour is now underway. It's aimed at winning over independent voters in key battleground states. Independents and unaffiliated voters make up less than 10 percent of voters. How do you see this group voting and will they decide the 2012 election? Well, they're going to look at a couple things. One, um, the, the economy. Two, did President Obama follow through on his promises? And the third thing is, people in this country are starving for real, authentic people to serve and govern like they campaigned. This president doesn't fit any of that anymore. He's not real anymore. He's not authentic anymore. He has become a plasticized Washington politician who says one thing, does another, and the facts are the facts. And the president can't escape the truth of where we are at in the American economy. And independents and everyone on both sides agree that this president hasn't performed. He's having a, a mutiny in his own party. Mitt Romney has recently enjoyed a nice boost in the polls. How should Mitt Romney keep this momentum well, going? Well, I then? think you got to keep pressing ahead. I mean, for one thing, you have to keep pounding away on the truth of where we're at in the American economy. The president's going to have a billion dollar war chest. So he's going to be inundating the country with 30 second ads that actually have no basis in fact or reality. But if you spend a billion dollars uh, in a fantasy land, the, tr the, the challenge is gonna be for us to set the record straight. So Romney has to stay out there, pound away. I mean, this is gonna be a marathon, but we're doing this not because we're worried about the future of the Republican Party. We're doing this because we're worried about the future of America, and that's why we're here. Now, earlier this month, it was announced that the Romney campaign and the RNC bested Barack Obama and the DNC in terms of fundraising, having raised $77 million in May compared with the other side's $60 million. Uh, do you believe that this fundraising trend will continue in the months ahead? And can you 
Um, speak to us about how additionally the RNC is helping Mitt Romney. Well, I think we're going to be competitive. Um, I, I don't think we're going to keep up with the billion dollar president. I, I, I'm not, I don't think we will. I think that the president will, uh, you know, he's addicted to fundraising. I think he did about six fundraisers yesterday or the day before. I mean, he just does it all day long. Um, and Mitt Romney has to go make the case to the American people and, and get to know folks around the country. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we're going to be competitive. Um, and what we have to do to stay competitive is, is stay on message with what this race is all about. And this race is about saving America, getting our debt and our deficits and spending under control. And it's about jobs, 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 which this president hasn't done a thing about. Last question for you. The Supreme Court is expected to release its decision on Obamacare any day. How will this issue factor into the 2012 election? Well, I mean, I think it's a big issue either way. I mean, if President Obama uh, gets his way and the Supreme Court you know, he was, you know, obviously preaching to the Supreme Court, although they're going to be independent, I know that. But um, if, if Obamacare uh, uh, is upheld, I, I think, you know, this election will be a referendum on that. And it doesn't look good for the president. He doesn't want to talk about Obamacare. If it's struck down, then I think it's going to illustrate as well how far off base this president's been with the one signature piece of legislation that he can talk about. It's unconstitutional. I believe it is unconstitutional. Um, it'll probably be a close decision. I mean, we don't know, uh, but um, we'll wait and see. But we'll be ready to make the case to the American people that we don't need Europe in the White House because Europe doesn't work in Europe. We need liberty and freedom, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and what our founding fathers saw for our country. RNC Chairman Rens Priebus, thanks so much for being with us. Happy to do it. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.